What's up, everybody? Happy pre pre Thanksgiving. Um, if you had a chance to join my chat over on um, Facebook this morning from seven thirty to eight thirty, welcome back over here. Um, just getting things ready. Sorry, I, I had scheduled a live stream for here. The problem is YouTube completely changed everything as it relates to live streaming, webcam, going anything live. So I apologize. This is a separate link. So I, uh, I apologize for not getting over to this quicker. It's kind of good. It's just goofy. I don't know. YouTube changes. It's funny. I was watching this video and the guy's like, why do they keep changing stuff? And well, because they want to. They're YouTube. They can do what they want. So welcome over to part two of live cooking Q&A uh, before tomorrow. What's up, Sylvia? Nice to see you. So I just usually try to do these live cooking Q&As the day before a major holiday where everyone is cooking. And hopefully if you have some questions, you want to bring some questions, you can ask me live. Um, I'm happy to try to answer those for you for the next yeah, 45 minutes to an hour or so. Maybe not that long. We'll see. Maybe 30 minutes. We'll see how many questions come in. Um, so yeah. So so welcome. What's up, Christine? What's up, De Silva? What is up, Yvonne? What's up, Robin from Wisconsin, Florida? Yvonne, I want to be in Florida right now. <laughs> it's cold up here. What's up, Emerald? David, what's up from the UK, my friend? Good to see you. John from Canada. Hey, Zarina, what's going on? Uh, do you cook a whole duck? Last time I tried, it ended up greasy. Well, Zarina, duck has an incredible... Uh, way bigger sort of fat cap, skin cap than a chicken or a turkey or any of those things. So you are going to render quite a bit of fat. I mean, have you ever seen those recipes that use duck fat? There's a reason because it renders so great. You may want to try to cook it on like a V rack that's in your pan and let let all those juices sort of drain down so it's not saturated in it. But if for me, I would keep all that fat where it is. That's what provides so much deliciousness. Okay, Lori... Hey, Chef. Nice to join him from Ontario. What's up? What's up, Anna? How's it going? Long time no see. De Silva, would you ever do a meet and greet? For sure I would. Yeah, for sure. I'm stuck in Crown Point, Indiana, but um, not far. I'm like 45 minutes from downtown Chicago, so it depends. I know I've toyed with, should I do live cooking classes? What would that even look like? I don't know. Katie, love your last week's videos and recipes. Getting ready to brine my chicken. Nice. We don't love turkey. I agree. You know, turkey's okay. It's, it's just like this is what we do, right? We all make turkey. But I like ch chicken. I think it's a great option. Gabs, how do you keep apples from going too soft in a pie? How do you keep apples from going too soft? Like, do you want them firm? Do you like firm apples and apples pie? Or is like, are, are your apples turning to mush? Clarify for me. Put it back. Pop it back in the question um, so I can try to get exactly what you're looking for. Christine, want to make stock today? Great day to make stock. Jane, what's up, Jane? Thanks for spending your time. It's my pleasure. Amy, what's up from Seattle? Yvonne, it's cold here in Florida. Low 70s. It's cold, low 70s? No, it's cold here, low 30s. <laughs> Karen from Arizona. What's up, Karen? Used to live out in Phoenix. Love that out there. What's up, Lori from Boston? Can you talk about brining? Sure, Lori. I have a great recipe. Um, go, to, go on here. Um, brine smoked turkey. Just did it. Last week, last Wednesday, check out that recipe. If there's something specific that you saw in there that you need clarification on, let me know. Robin Ross, winter squash or sweet potatoes? I love sweet potatoes, but I love winter squash too. Butternuts, acorns, they're all so good. How could you go wrong? Make them both. What's up, Linda? I use your videos for teaching my homeschool kids. Amy, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Concetto, that would be fun. Live cooking, yeah, I thought about it. We'll see. I don't know. I'm busy right now, but I, I, I would, I'm all, I mean, y'all made this channel possible. So I'm, I'm more than happy to, to hop out there and, and do some fun things for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Linda, California here. What's up, Linda? Brian, I will be spatchcocking our turkey. Any suggestions? Yeah. Just, I mean, just remove the backbone, either use some sharp kitchen shears or a knife, lay it flat, season it up, smoke it, roast it. It just could. I mean, the only tip is it, it cooks quicker. I mean, for sure cooks quicker. Um, so just be careful with that and watch that. You want to go in the inner thigh um, to 165 degrees, 160 to 165. 
And the reason I say that is because after you pull it out of the smoker or the oven, there is something called carryover cooking. Well, it will actually continue to cook. And oftentimes the temperature even rises. That's why when you smoke meat like brisket or pork, you pull it out at like 200, 202, and then we'll get to that 204, 205. So you're safe in that 160, 165 range. Wrap it up and let it sit to the side. Okay, Anna. Been watching your videos of all your recipes. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Anna. Uh, Robin, I would travel if you did a clap. Well, that is very, very nice. Going too mushy. My apple pie ends up being too mushy. Gabs, thank you. Thank you. I mean, um, it sounds like you're probably cooking it too long. Is your crust overdone? Is it just done when you're doing that? My guess is it's just cooking too long. Now, what you can do, okay, if the crust is perfect and the cooking is too long, cut your apples a little thicker, right? If it's thinner, it's going to cook quicker and it can turn mush. Maybe try to start cutting them a little bit thicker. That could help as well. What's up, Jet from Upstate? I haven't been to New York in a minute. It's been a while. I've actually never even been to Upstate, just been to the city. Joe San, good morning. Love your videos and advice for workarounds. My pleasure, my pleasure. Do so. Do you have any suggestions for seasoning bacon that is not with sugar? Um, I mean, like when you cook it in the oven, a lot of that's what I do. I bake it on parchment paper. So a lot of people season it there. You can add ca Cajun spices, you can add maple syrup. I've seen honey. A lot of people add pepper. You just got to be careful because it can tend to burn even with sugar. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. But yeah, honey, maple syrup. Um, you can even brush a little molasses on there if you want to get real crazy. Side dishes all day. I agree. Turkey to me was a, as a kid, was overgrown chicken. So I thought that's awesome. I, you know, I probably thought that too, to be honest. I guarantee I thought that. I guarantee. Gibbs. Sorry, I'm trying to type with my two year old jumping on me. Apple pie to have a bite. It's usually too much. Okay, hopefully I answered that question, Gabs. I totally get it. My kid's eight now, but I remember when she was one and two. Wine and roasting, okay, 100%, Linda, 100%. What's up, Consetta from Connecticut here? I was the one who said I noticed you always reference movie quotes when cooking. <laughs> What's up, Consetta? Dude, me and my old roommates from college, like if you just sat in a conversation, you would think you were in multiple movies. Like if, if a situation happens that we have a movie quote reference for, we throw it out there. I know it's ridiculous, and it can probably be so annoying, um, but... I don't know. I love movies. Where's your cap, chef? Right here. Right here. I actually had time to do the hair today. So I decided to prove to everybody that I actually had hair. How about that? <laughs> um, watching from South Africa. Whoa. Welcome, my friends. That is amazing. Uh, can I brine a turkey breast? 100? 100% you can brine a turkey breast. Yeah. You don't want to brine... Turkey specifically because it breaks down so easily. So I don't like to brine any more than 48 hours, but I at least like to do it for 24 hours. Joy, hey, Billy, love your videos and instructions. Such a pleasure to listen and learn from you, Joyce. Thanks. It's my pleasure. Thanks for joining in. Appreciate the support very much. David, getting boneless butterfly turkey rolled up. Nice. Nice. No, that is awesome. Um, did he roll it up with like butter and herbs and stuff in there too? That is awesome. And I'm sure he trusted and wrapped it. Or did he put it in like a cheesecloth? Let me know. That's interesting. How to prevent salty gravy from brine turkey? Um, I mean, the gravy necessarily shouldn't be too salty. Remember, after you brine a turkey, you want to rinse it very well in cold water. The inside of the cavity on the outside, make sure you rinse off a lot of that salt and sugar. Make sure that you're, it shouldn't be too salty if it is. What I would recommend doing is using a good homemade chicken stock that's not been seasoned or grab a low-sodium chicken stock from the grocery store and cut some of that salty turkey gravy if it's too salty for you. Do you ever use a pre-made pie crust asking for a friend? <laughs> no, no, I don't. It pie, pie crust to me takes five minutes. But if you got to do what you got, I'm not mad at you, man. People like what they like, and you've got to do what you got to do. I mean, cooking, holiday cooking is buck wild, so... If you can, if you have to go in there and do it, I mean, pre-made pie crust all day long. Yeah, it's cost. It's perfect. It's just the inside. Crust is perfect. It's just per, is perfect. It's just the inside. Despite how I slice, it's too mushy. Man, I, I, what kind of apples are you using? Maybe we'll start there. Maybe, maybe all apples are crispy. I don't know that there's not that one is puzzling 
But if you like crisp, firmer apples, okay, you like them really firm, here is what I would do. I would par bake your crust. Go watch my pumpkin pie video on how to par bake your crust, okay? This gets it going. I would add the apples in there, and obviously you would not be able to put another piece of dough on there for par baking, okay, because you're going to need to cook it quicker because it sounds like that's what you want. But you can do like a simple brown sugar flour butter crumb topping, a little cinnamon in there, and just cook it quicker. Just cook it quicker so it stays crisp. That's what you like. That's what you like. Susie, love your videos. Thank you. And can see your passion for cooking. Thanks, Susie. Try to do what I can do when I can do it. <laughs> Jet, name that movie reference, Conceta. Uh, love the side of your cooking videos. Thanks, Jet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I try to pride myself. I actually produce, shoot, and edit all of my own work. There's no one else in this studio with me doing it all. Okay, uh, Sinta watching from England. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. That's so cool. It's so cool that it, uh, it's just like a global website. I love it. It's And especially when it comes to food. I mean, come on. That's amazing. Okay, Mubarak. What's better for Thanksgiving? Key lime pie, pumpkin pie, or tres leche? Tres le dude, tres leches is one of my all-time favorite cakes. I love tres leches cake. Pumpkin pie, I like. Not, it's not my favorite pie. I like it. Um, love key lime pie too. Man, that's a tough one. All of them. <laughs> key limes are going to see it. I have a 22 pound turkey. This is the biggest turkey I've ever made. How many hours do I cook it? And then at what temperature? Gabs, you always do at 350 degrees for 13 to 15 minutes per pound. Make sure you have a very good thermometer. If this is the turkey, okay, this is the inside cavity. These are like the legs or the drums. Stick it in here. You want to be in there good. That should read in between 160 and 165 degrees. Remember I talked about carryover cooking. Wrap it in foil. Let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes so that it can get to temperature. That was a lot of talking. Okay, okay. Christy, move. Morning uh, from Star Idaho. I can't talk. Morning from Star Idaho. You are so much fun to watch, and I learned a lot from you. Thank you, Christy. That's very kind of you. I appreciate the support. Thank you. MB, Chef Bill, your videos are awesome. Thanks for teaching us. Thanks for watching. Shoot, I wouldn't be here if y'all weren't watching, so I appreciate it. Sent to off topic, but you're Hungarian beef goulash was delicious. Cheers from England. Thank you for giving it a shot. Appreciate it. Uh, I researched high and low for that recipe make sure it was the real deal and the right one. So thank you so much for trying it. Katie White, doing fresh green beans. Not in casserole. My husband doesn't like al dente. Ideally, way to cook them, not too soggy, nice and bright green. And then saute with bacon. Yeah, you could boil them minutes wise. <laughs> not al dente. I mean, you're, you're you're probably at like the six to seven minute mark because an al dente to me is like a two to four. You want to get a little past that, maybe six to seven. I would just keep trying them. Just keep trying them. Um, and it's fun eating green beans out of the water and noodles, pasta too. Okay. Hey, it's D. I was on the other video waiting. No wonder. I know. I'm sorry. I was trying to get on there, but YouTube changed everything. So it's like I can't even live stream. It's so, man, I, you know, they just always change stuff on there. I'm so, so sorry. Thank you for joining. I apologize. Okay. I made a cranberry sauce. It was so good. Everyone ate it yesterday. Have to make more of it. Thank you. Thanks, Gabs. Yeah, I got, I got some leftover that I froze. <laughs> yeah, and that cranberry sauce was very nice. The best in my life. Oh, thanks. Dr. Les Crawford, you're a doctor. Welcome. Thank you. Awesome. Ken, thank you so much, sir. I love your channel. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate the support. Zarina Chef Bill, are you going to cover Christmas candies like peanut brittle fudge in December? I will not be doing that specifically, but I do have a lot of Christmas recipes. Uh, I have cookie recipe, a side dish or two. I'm going to cure. I'm going to cure and smoke a ham. I think I'm going to do prime rib, beef tenderloin. I don't think I'll be doing peanut brittle or fudge. I actually don't like fudge very much or peanut brittle, so I apologize. But I'll see. Okay? That's all I can give you. I'll see. Bangkok Live. Greetings from Bangkok. Love your recipes. Hey, man. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't see the picture, so I apologize um, if it's a girl or a boy, man or woman. Jerry, because of you, I can now cook chicken. Well, Awesome. Jerry, thanks for giving it a shot. Gabs, Granny Smith. Um, Granny Smith apples, too. I don't know. I like to cut them with half Fuji and or Honeycrisp and Granny Smith. I don't know. Lisa Gal. Taking notes for Jay. He's cooking the turkey on the grill. Ooh. Lisa, I like that. I love that. Jay can cook. I feel like Jay can throw down. I bet it's going to be delicious. David, 
Because I'm UK, it's just ordered for Christmas. We'll be topped with bacon. Pretty much coming bare inside and planning plenty. Of, yeah, man, load it up with that herb butter. That sounds awesome. I don't think any butcher around me does anything like that. Robin Ross, use fresh squeeze orange juice instead of water in your cranberry sauce recipe. Yep, I've done that before too. Done that before too. We couldn't get turkey legs to make gravy for pre cooked turkey. I'm thinking of deconstructing it and using it to make new gravy. We couldn't get gravy legs to make gravy for pre cooked turkey. Oh, I see. I would probably just use chicken stock, man, and make your own gravy separate if you can't get anything rendered off of there. Yeah. I will try that. You're the man. Thanks, thanks, Gabs. Appreciate you. You the bomb. Thanks, Gallery of St. Clair. Max, morning, Chef. I remember doing this Thanksgiving last year. Yeah, I try to do it every year. Between before Christmas, before Easter, before Thanksgiving, July 4th, Labor Day, all those, you know, we got a lot of American holidays around here. So I'm trying to give you guys some confidence heading into the holiday, making sure you guys feel good. Gabs, you're a saint. I love you. Thank you so much. Me and my family are going to be so grateful. Oh, you are too dang kind. Happy Thanksgiving. Good luck tomorrow. You got it. Prep as much as you can today. That's all I can tell you. Prep as much as you can today. Okay, Sinta, what's the story behind Thanksgiving is we don't celebrate here in England. Oh, my goodness. You want me to tell you? I feel like Google and YouTube probably has a way better, more in-depth uh, history and story to Thanksgiving, essentially pilgrims coming over. Um, well, the history, the, okay, let me say this. There's a Puritan, like pilgrim, getting forced out of uh, the UK and Ireland uh, for religion, like they wanted to have religious freedom and practicing and um, bringing that, that would be like some of the first pilgrims actually. But you know, history these days seem to be subjective a little bit. So I'm going to let you Google that one. <laughs> okay. All right. Gosh. Hi, Chef. I have my food trials coming up. What sauce will go best with grilled chicken breast? I mean, there's so many things that go great with chicken breast. You can do mushrooms. You can do butter, piccata style with capers, um, a roasted like Onion gravy. I mean, oh my gosh, the possibilities are endless. Gallery, I appreciate your uh, teaching technique. Especially love the true Italian stuff. Thanks, man. I try to do try to do it for sure. Julian, thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Amateur, thank you for watching. Very much appreciate it. What is your favorite Italian family Thanksgiving dessert? My first cooking attempt accidentally made meatloaf soup. Don't realize I my first cooking attempt. I accidentally made meatloaf soup. Didn't realize I need more binder. Meatloaf soup kind of sounds good. Or if you have any tips on carving a turkey, I just came on, so apologies. If you have already covered this, blessed Thanksgiving. Um, on carving a turkey, check out my brined smoked turkey recipe. At the very end, I go through how to carve up that turkey. It all starts with the leg drum first. Watching from Barbados, what is up, David? Super cool. What's up, Lisa from Dallas? Your cowboys, they got beat up by the Chiefs a little bit. Now, I'm not a super huge Chiefs fan, but I did grow up in Missouri, so I do adopt them as my NFL team. But what's up from Dallas? Mark C., what's your thoughts on the use of oven bag for turkey? Okay, someone asked me this on another question. So when it comes to a turkey bag, um, I don't do it. I'm trying to think of a nice way to say it. It just seems weird to me to cook something in a plastic bag in the oven. I feel like you can get way better results brining and cooking in the oven be just as tender and juicy the bag is supposed to keep it juicy but like just wrap it in foil or brine it make sure you get all those flavors and seasonings in there i don't feel like i don't know i don't mess with that okay Sorry, my eyes are hurting hey chef billy what's the best way to reheat turkey that's already roasted without it being dry <laughs> We could all figure that one out. One, make sure it's not overcooked in the first place. Make sure you get just a 165 in that drum thigh area. Now, to reheat it, what I would do is wrap it up, um, or I would slice it back. I would slice it up before serving it. Um, and then putting it in a pan, roasting pan, um, add chicken stock in there and cover it completely in foil. Let, let it sort of steam in there and reconstitute Okay, Jerry, first time making the turkey. Is there any way to make gravy? I'm nervous. Jerry, check out my gravy recipe video. I just did it. You can do it separate. You can even do it the day before. Ever try roasting a turkey in an oiled brown paper grocery bag? 
What? No, never even heard. What do you want to brown? I've seen pies like that. Hmm. Interesting. Sergey, hello from Montreal. What's up? I hope I pronounced your name right. I apologize. John, I feel like I'm pretty accomplished in the kitchen, but I get a lot of good techniques and different ways to do things from you. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, sir. That is very kind of you. Thank you. Zarina, is it wrong to do mashed potatoes with hand mixer? No. Get in there, mash them up, my friends. Cooking turkey upside down. Jeff, yeah. So we used to, in culinary school, we used to keep the turkey breast side up 400 degrees for about 45 minutes, get a very nice brown in there. Then we go in there. It's a little kind of crazy because it's heavy. You flip it over, put it breast side down. Um, and I mean, you think the breast meat, it's by far is the most meat on the entire turkey and all those juices just run down and it's just so good. It's so great that way. But I know a lot of people can be intimidating about, oh my gosh, I'm about to flip over 22 pound turkey. This is crazy. Guadalupe. Hello from Panama, Central America. What's up, Guadalupe? How are you? Love your recipes and techniques. Of course, happy Thanksgiving. All of you, especially to Chef Parisi and family, thank you so much. I haven't been to Central America in about 10 or 11 years. was in Costa Rica not too long ago. That was the last time I was there. The Pilgrims had a feast to celebrate the first successful harvest and invited the Indians. The Indians brought food. Also, thus, introducing the Pilgrims to both turkey and pumpkin. Okay, great. Thank you, Gallery St. Clair. Thank you for a um, very quick snippet um, on Thanksgiving. Thank you. I know there's like deeper things when you think of Thanksgiving. The very first Thanksgiving, yes, I would say that. But when you think about Thanksgiving and over the years and before and after that moment um, of how it's celebrated and what's celebrated. So completely in line with with what that is. It's a great way to put it. I'm going to steal it. Sergey, all good here. You pronounce it more like Russian Sergey. Yes, sorry. I, I see that name and I was a huge Detroit Red Wings fan. I see Sergey Fedorov. So uh, um all good here. You pronounce it more Russian. So is it just Surge? Or I just say Surge? I don't know. Make sure I get this right. Can I substitute bread flour for all-purpose flour in a cheesecake? Ron, if you substitute... Yeah, because there's not that much flour in there. What is there? A couple tablespoons? You'd be fine. Best way to transport a turkey. I took my mom's turkey because she overcooks every year, but didn't think of how to transport it cooked recommendations. Luke. Um, okay, so I... Uh, I wrap it in, okay, how do I want to do this? Okay, here's what I'll do. I think Because I have to transport mine too. Um, I take it out, you need one or two things. Just wrap the top in foil. Let that pan cool down a little bit, okay? If the pan isn't cool after 20 minutes, take it out and put it in a different pan. Here's what I do. I wrap it in plastic, like airtight. Then I wrap it in foil, okay? Um, and even at that point, you can put it in a cooler and just let all that heat sit in there, wrap it in towels. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but it actually does work really well. Uh, Zarina, Lindsay Holiday did a whole thing on the whole origins of her first Thanksgiving. Lindsay Holiday, the whole thing on the whole. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's like one thing they like, I know, thanks. Like they, I mean, obviously I haven't been in school and. Quite some, quite some time, and I didn't study. I studied American history, but not as it related to Thanksgiving. It was more 19th and um, 20th century, which I studied in college. So, I always think of Pilgrims coming. They celebrated. Um, they celebrate not the birth of America, but they celebrated um, just freedom and independence, and um, from religious persecution. So, I think of Thanksgiving in those terms. But making it the first harvest, that would make obviously 100% sense. Okay, more like Surge, French. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you for um, clarifying, I appreciate it. I wanna mispronounce anyone's names. Brandy, hello from Vegas. What is up, Brandy? Haven't been to Vegas in a few years. Daily Watcher, cooler. Cooler, yeah. Hey, it's D. Have you ever used grapefruit juice in place water in your cranberry sauce? I haven't used grapefruit juice, but orange juice. I've used orange juice before. Grapefruit, I, I find to be a little bit bitter. And sometimes cranberries can be a little bit bitter too after you get past the tart. So orange is a good way to sweeten it up. That's why I add so much sugar in there. I was only able to obtain ground sage instead of fresh. Bummer. How much should I use on the turkey? I mean, it depends on how big your turkey is. But I have a, a poultry seasoning on my website, billyparisi.com. And really quick, let me just stop and say this. My website, billyparisi.com, is where every single written recipe and in detail written notes are there and step-by-step -step images and you can print them. Every recipe that's on here, 
on YouTube is on my website, billyparisi.com. Be, sure be sure to search it. So with that being said, I have a poultry seasoning recipe that uses dry sage. I mean, you can't, people always tend to under season. Let me just say that they under, they're afraid. Oh my gosh, there's too much on here. Turkeys are massive. You need that flavor that's on top. That's seasoning, the salt, pepper, say you need that to penetrate all the way down through that turkey and throughout. So you want to season all throughout the cavity, all in there, all on top, heavy, heavy seasoning. I'm talking if I had a, let's just say 16 to 20 pound turkey, I'm, I'm probably going to do like a quarter and then probably even more than that. Yeah. I would, including inside the cavity, you're looking at like a third to a half cup of seasoning. That includes salts. It includes your sages, onion, garlic, any other things you want to add in there. Use a lot. Turkeys need flavor. They are boring and dumb and bland by themselves. That was a lot. <laughs> it was very intense. All right, Chrissy, thank you for teaching me fundamentals of cooking. I feel more confident. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I really try to hit on those fundamental notes. Luke, thanks. Great idea. My, my, my pleasure, my friend. Serge, what are your plans for the holidays? Are you cooking? Are you going to be uh, going to be less on YouTube? I, you know, I was trying to do three new videos a week, man. It was so stressful. I just would be in the middle of recipe and already thinking about the next one. I would forget about some things in that recipe. So I'm going to go back to two recipe videos a week. Um, I probably won't um, be doing crazy like I mean, I try to get ahead a little bit. So that's the hard part of being a small business owner. It's hard to like, I'm going to take this week off. Well, I never know what that week's going to be, but I'm easier to be able to take time off. I can schedule like a month, month and a half ahead of time. So I'll work a little bit harder, try to get ahead by a recipe video or two so I can go have a vacation. But my work never sleeps, my friend. So I don't get too much time off. Zarina, why do some Sic Italian Sicilian families insist on having manicotti with turkey and Thanksgiving? Zarina... You know, we had masticcioli. Um, I'm Sicilian. We have masticcioli. Um, we also have cannolis. I don't know. Just a, I mean, the, yeah, Thanksgiving, you know, I mean, America's very interesting because it's such a melting pot. And there's so many different cultures and ethnicities here. So, you know, my grandparents were from Sicily. Our Christmas, there's no, I know a lot of people serve turkey for Christmas. There's no turkey. There is pastas. There is, oh my gosh, um, uh, it just countless different pastas too. Tons of Sicilian things like chicken marsala. It's it's wild. It's, but you wouldn't recognize America. I think that's cool though. I mean, I think that's cool. That's your that's what they're thankful for. That's their Thanksgiving. I think it's neat to that everyone kind of does their own thing. I don't know though. I don't know. We did masta chili. I'll, I'll ask my dad, Serena. I'll ask my dad why did we do masta chili on Thanksgiving? Lisa, okay, forgive me. Was I the only one who was thinking use the force, Luke? Seriously, it is great. <laughs> use the force. Dark soldier. What's up? Hello, everyone. What's up, dark soldier? All right. How many? Oh, man. I got to scroll back up. Give me a second. How can I make tasty mashed potatoes for people with dairy allergy? Oof. Okay. I would overload on this. I'm not into using nut butters or nut milks and all those. And it just it alters the flavor completely. Is I think it's called Melt. It is a vegan dairy-free butter made from all plant-based. It's very, very tasty. Now, if I had to make a dairy-free mashed potato, probably the one I would do. And I would go very heavy on that. And salt and pepper, of course. And garlic. You need some flavor in there. Hey, it's Dee. Thank you. What's up, Manny? What's up, Graciela? I just came. Oh man, I just came to the Q and A. What happened if I, if I just don't my, find fresh cranberries instead of them? I use dried cranberries. No, you can't use dried cranberry. They won't reconstitute, and the flavor will be very, very intense. You might be stuck with the can. I'm sorry. Dark soldier for Brian the turkey. Do you suggest vegetable or chicken broth? Second part of the question. Do you prefer stock or broth? Um, okay. So brining the turkey, do you suggest vegetable or chicken stock? You can use either. And I've seen either used, um, chicken doesn't, I mean, it tastes similar to turkey, but there are obviously differences. So it's not going to alter the flavor. Vegetable could be interesting because you can bring in more vegetable notes. I prefer stock because stock uses vegetables and roasting broth is to me like dumping a chicken in water and boiling it. I, I did that in my chicken noodle soup just to show everyone how to use a whole chicken when making soup. So anyways, okay. MB, thanks so much. Welcome. Katie, just heading to the garden to grab fresh. You got a garden? Where are you? Are you, in, are you the one in Orlando? Muhammad, brother, where are you living? I'm in Indiana. 
Sinta, besides turkey, what other main dishes do you make for Thanksgiving? Uh, so a lot of folks also sent to do um, a prime rib. I've seen a pork crown and beef tenderloin and ham. Of course, ham. Ham is another big, big, huge side dish or a, a side protein in addition to turkey. I'm, I'm, and I'm not doing this. Beef and beef Wellington here in the states is much more used for Christmas and New Year's Eve. Zarina, my knife skills got better. Yes, practice, 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 always. Ronald, seven fishes for Chris. I'm not doing that. I know what that is. I'm not doing that. Maybe though. Maybe. Ron, you're my boy. We'll see. Hello, chef. Big fan here. Do you have any good ideas for leftover turkey? I've got a turkey tetrazzini recipe video coming out Friday morning. As if you're not going to be sick of cooking by Friday morning, but I have one. And it's really tasty mushrooms, peas, really tasty cream and Parmesan sauce. It's good. Patrick, I use diced hash browns in a side dish, but they aren't in the stores right now. I have to make them from scratch. Any good tips on how to make diced hash browns, diced, diced hash browns, headed for a cheesy potato side dish? I don't know that I have any tips. I mean, so you would use diced hash browns in a side dish, but they aren't in the store right now. Are, you, are they like frozen, like the frozen? Can you just clarify? I'm trying to figure out what they originally were so I can try to point you in the right direction. Okay. Um, all right. I'm Sicilian, hey, it's D, too, and I don't ever remember a holiday without – how could – that's so cool, though, right? Like not everyone has the same Thanksgiving, the same Christmas, same – everyone cooks something different. I love it. I do. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, Polina. I just noticed that, and that person has been blocked. <laughs> okay. Um, what about olive oil instead of butter in the mash? And fat, 100%. But olive oil is also a very distinct flavor, so if your friends don't like that, you got to be careful. Olive oil would be fantastic in there. I'm Sicilian. The more, the merrier. Thanks for answer. Oh, man, i got to scroll back up. Sorry. Thanks for asking, answering my question. It is my pleasure. Katie White, Oregon Coast. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. Yes, we're Sicilian and have an Italian Christmas meal. That's a way to do it. Zarina, I've heard of chicken broth and mashed potatoes. Yeah. yeah. You could probably do that to loosen them up a little bit. Might alter. Again, you to me, like cream and fat enhance the flavor of mashed potatoes. You got to be careful about altering the flavor of mashed potatoes. That's why I like... Like, I get concerned. Not concerned, but you got to be careful with olive oil. People don't like it. Or chicken stock. Okay, frozen cranberries are a perfect substitute if you can't get fresh. Oh, yeah, duh. Duh, duh, duh. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. This is the second chat I've done. I don't know that I've ever talked this much in my life. But, yes, frozen cranberries will absolutely work. Thanks for sharing your expertise. Cooking skills, you have made a difference for me. How do you serve turkey uh, from presentation to table? CMB Bart. Go check out my um, brine smoked turkey recipe. At the very end, I carve it, but then I put it in a big bowl. I usually just lay out, you know, by drums, by wings, sliced breast meat, sliced thigh meat, and then I just put some kind of herb sticking in and out. They're very simple, very simple. Serge, two quick questions. Do you speak any French, and do you have any tattoos? Serge, yes. Uh, I, I took French in high school. We had to learn culinary French in um, culinary school. And I have, yes, I have a big Italian, um, uh, my coat of arms right in the center of my back. I would say it was a mistake. I was in college and may or may not have been sober at the time. Top three potato side dish variations. Top uh, side dish that I love for potatoes. I love au gras potatoes with the cream, the gruyere cheese. Definitely not healthy. Definitely not heart healthy. Um, I love a good mashed potato. Um, I like like even like uh, my version of scalloped potatoes is probably more like an like a potatoes Anna where they're like crispy fried like they're layered up but like got that nice brown on top. Those are probably my favorite. I, I don't know that I have variations for any of those. Kind of just what I like. What kind of potatoes do you use for mashed potatoes? What's up, Ryan? Good to see you, man. Um, uh, and uh, russets or honestly, the best to me is going to be a Yukon Gold or Gold potatoes. Um, a little less starch. Just I just like I like Yukon Golds. I think they have good flavor. And a recipe for gravy. Yes, I did one Monday. Go check out on my YouTube channel. Uh, I did a gravy recipe. 
in good morning chef i plan on making apple strudel and butternut squash strudel and she was oh that sounds delicious greetings from germany what's up what's up what's up octopus eight so when i was in high school we had uh an awesome exchange student that lived with us for an entire year unka we still get a chance to talk to her she i, I she might live in Hamburg now, but she did live. Uh, she was born and raised in Ulm, Germany, ULM. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Patrick, yeah, frozen hash browns are super out of stock right now. Are they the shredded or the diced? If they're diced, I mean, really, what you can do is just dice them up on the peeling. Help, Just help me answer one more question. Uh, were they shredded or diced, and were they pre-cooked? Were they already browned up? I'm going to try to get you where you need to go. Anna, I'm from Mexico City, and we used to make tamales for Thanksgiving yeah, I haven't been to Mexico City in years. That's cool, Anna. Super cool. Do you have any thoughts on cooking the turkey in a bag in in a big easy versus the traditional way in the oven? In a big easy, remind me, that's the cheesecloth with butter, correct? Remind me, right? Lisa, we're cooking the proteins, turkey, and ham. 12 people coming and bringing the side tips for reheating everything timely. Oh man, yeah, those it gets tough, dude, because you just run out of flip and room. Um, I always try to think of like what what needs to be hot and what can be served warm. Um, I know it's kind of goofy, but when you have limited space, you're forced to do these things. Um, so I think of stuffing. Like stuffing to me doesn't need to be hot. Stuffing can be served warm. It's bread. So I try to figure out timing of okay, I like my vegetables, my mashed but and like anything that's in the oven, like veggie wise, I like that hot, but things that are like stuffings that can be warm. I'd wrap them in uh, a layer of plaster wrap and then foil, like, I don't know, 30 minutes before serving. That way you can just figure out how to put those other things in there. It's a great question. Like, I don't know that anyone has a perfect answer. It's all about trying to find to me things that can be done a little bit ahead of time and that can still be served warm and that are delicious by serving warm. I'm making bourbon sweet potatoes with pecan brown. That sounds insane. Zarina, delicious. I don't have a food thermometer. What's the best way to see if a turkey is done? Well, I hope they got that red button popping out of there. If they don't, the only, I mean, if you don't cook turkeys regularly, I mean, the only way to do in there is going to have to slice in that thigh, the inner thigh. I know this is my chest, but I'm acting as if this is the drum, okay? The drum sticking up. In that inner thigh, like right here, you you got to cut in there and make all the way to the bone and make sure. And the other way that I've heard, and I don't really trust, and I'm sorry, once the juices are running clear, well, once the juices are running clear, you may be 35 degrees over temperature and overcooked. So that's going to be one of the best ways to get in there. Okay. Camp guy, just deglaze some burnt veggies in my gravy. What? Will that make it bitter? I mean, if your veggies are burnt, yes, it can absolutely make it bitter. Man, you're never going to completely get rid of that bitterness. The things that you can potentially do is add a little bit of clean acid like lemon juice and a hint of sugar. I'm not saying it'll work perfectly, but it could. Ryan, awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. Karen. Uh, Karen, I saw you. Karen, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh... Dang, a lot of questions this time. We raise and process our turkey. 20 pounds. Rumor has it that fresh cooks faster than fresh cook. Oh, I've never heard that before. I know Brian cooks faster. I've never a fresh than a store bought. I've, I've never heard that before. Interesting. I'll have to do some research. Camp guy was cooking turkey wings and roasting them with onions and garlic. Yum. Dry roasting. Delicious. Christy Baker, where did the hands up in the air at the end of your video come from? <laughs> I don't know. Like there were some things that I ate. I'm like, oh my God, I'm Italian too. I, if you can't tell, I move around a lot. And it was just like, oh, this is so good. This is so good. I just had to throw the hands up. Mike, what's up from Ohio? Patrick Dice, the bags are pre-cooked. Ah, okay. Okay. I see. I see. Thank Patrick. Thank you so much for, <laughs> that was a lot of questions to get through there. Um, Okay. So they're diced. You can dice them up, obviously. If you want to do that ahead of time, dice them, hold them in cold water, make sure they're submerged, and then um, uh, drain them first and, and dry them up a little bit. Pat them dry with some paper towels. 
The best thing you can do is pan sear them to get them nice and crispy brown. Add your oil to a pan. Heat it up on a high heat. Once that oil begins to smoke, make sure your potatoes, like I said, are dried off. Add them in there. Making sure they're dry is going to ensure they can get brown. If they're too wet, they're going to stick to the pan. Once they are in there, you can turn the heat down to medium high. And then let them cook. You don't have to go in there every second and stir them. Let them cook for a minute or two before you start to move some things around. And you're going to probably need to use um, some sort of uh, uh, spatula, like uh, or a uh, uh, like. Why can't I think of what it is? Spatula, metal. Flip it up and use it so you can scrape underneath so things aren't sticking. Make sure that oil is hot. Add some butter in there too as well when you start cooking it. It's a grilled type by Charboil. It's supposed to be fried without using a bunch of oil. Oh, Lake Mark, did I miss another question? Okay, there you go. Do you have any thoughts? Oh, 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 okay. Do you have any thoughts on cooking the turkey in a big easy? I gotcha. I'm sorry. Okay. It's a grilled type by Charboil. It's supposed to be fried without using a bunch of, like an air fryer almost? Never, I never heard of it. I apologize. I the chicken stock into the charred veggies. Yeah, try that lemon juice and sugar. Be very careful. Use a little bit. Taste it as you go. I can say my rule of thumb is that you should use starchy potatoes when the potato preparation is about texture and less starchy ones for flavor. My rule of thumb is that you should use starchy potatoes when the potato preparation is about texture and less starchy ones for flavor focus. Okay, that's fair. Do you enjoy making your gravy recipe today? You can definitely do that. You can use giblets and sauce or you can use, I don't personally, but you can. I, I'm not anything against giblets. I think I was just grossed out by them so much as a kid. Like there's some recipes as a kid. I can't do stuffed green peppers. I just can't. I look at them and I'm like, hmm. and, and like I, I make meatloaf and I love my meatloaf, but I can't do it that often because my meatloaf growing up as a kid was horrendous. So when I see meatloaf on a menu at a restaurant, I'm like, don't you dare. Don't you do it. Okay. All hometown of Albert Einstein. Interesting. The highest church. Yes. I know they have, it's the fourth biggest church in the world too, overall. And surprisingly, less than 100 cases, and it's quite well known in Jersey. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, I remember she would show pictures. And at that time when she moved there, it was the fourth largest church in the world. I remember her telling me that. That's cool. Home of Albert Einstein. How cool is that? Thank you. Thank you. That's so cool. Todd Duncan, dude, I just got back from the store with everything. I need to make your green bean casserole. What's up, Todd? Nice to see you, my friend. B. Cornwell, I've followed you for some time. You are so, oh, man, I missed you. Hold on. You are so informative we have made many dishes i know it's a lot of work but oh thank you b cornwall i appreciate you very much veronica my husband watches your videos and smoking meats and he's improved that's awesome thank you veronica tell him thank you so so much todd you've helped me learn so much over the last 18 months i'm forever great i'm forever appreciative of you and grateful for you thank you for the support camp guy all your recipes are five or six ingredient all our recipes are five or six ingredient baked pineapple we found. okay I don't know what that means. Pantone only have chocolate chips in it. Yep. Yeah, yes. Zuri, did you see my Facebook post that I did my live Facebook? Someone asked me to make panettone. Panettone with all those dry I dried fruits are weird to me. I do not like them. I like dried cherries, and that's it. I know. Whatever. I'm biased. Whatever. I only like chocolate chips in my panettone. And so I have one. Uh I have one that's a written recipe, but I am gonna do a video on a panettone. Uh, this Christmas. Don't worry, it's coming. At the best sardated. I'm going to eat that someday. Yes, uh, Dark Soldier, you can absolutely make it tonight. Uh, you want to cool it down so it's nice and chilled for the next day, and it will actually tighten up a little bit more. Uh, Nancy, what can I use in replace of onions? I... Don't think there's really a replacement for onions. I mean, they have such a distinct flavor. Are you allergic to onions? If you aren't, I mean, garlic, I mean, it's in the onion family. Green onions, leeks, leeks, you can try using leeks. But if you're allergic to onions, I'm not sure there's a, honest, I, sorry to inform you, I'm not sure there's a great substitute for that. Okay, okay, Anthony, that's a great question. I always wondered why you throw your hands in the air. <laughs> I just remember eating it, and my my wife's funny. She'll take a bite and she'll do this like little dance. If it's really good, I don't know. We're we're goofy. All right, Todd, can you tell me how to prep these pearl onions for the green bean casserole? Go check. I, I reference a video in that video. Um, I think it's chicken fricassee. 
watch that video. It will be game changing on Pearl Onions. Go check it out. Go check it out. Very easy. Very easy. Okay. Uh, okay. Cam got going point five or six. Million. Okay. Todd Duncan. I absolutely throw my hands up every time. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Like Mark, thank you for answering cues. Keep on. Thanks. Thanks for coming through. I really appreciate you, Laker Mark. Uh, Zarina, my mom used carcass to make soup. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, lots of flavor in that bone and still in the marrow. Jenny, can I slow cook a turkey safely? Yeah, yeah, you're okay. The whole point is you don't want, you want to be out of the danger zone, which is in between uh, 41 degrees and a 139 degrees for more than four hours. So if you can heat it up and get past that point, um, you're going to cook out most of the bacteria anyways once you get past 165. So to me, you should be okay. I would do it. Maybe not tell you what to do. Abdul, what's up, Abdul? I see you. I see you. I see you. Be cool. Stuffed green pepper is the same here. I, man, it just I was tainted as a kid with it. Can't do it. I'm shady side, man. <laughs> what's up? From Maryland, I grew up on meatloaf. I still make it. I like it. I just, oof, very here. I concur on stuffed bell peppers. Just no. I've watched your eggs Benedict been so many times. <laughs> Dude, did you make it though? Polenta versus mashed potatoes. Fight. Oh, but I'm Italian. They're so different though. I, I, just, I think, I don't know that. They're just different. I love you. And I'm so disappointed you are married. <laughs> Sorry, yuppie problems. Happily married going on 11. No, we just had 11 years. Thank <laughs> 11 years. You're too funny. That's very kind of you. Maria Avalos. Yes, I was going to say Maria Avalos from St. Louis. What is up? I grew up with my grandmother cooking her turkey in a paper bag, and I've also done the same. Is there a difference between – I would cook it over paper for pla versus plastic. Maria, first of all, it is – I haven't talked to you in, what, 21 years? This is incredible that you're on here. Hello, hello, hello to you. Um, I would cook it in paper over plastic – to me, like I said, there's always just something weird about cooking a pl cooking something in a plastic bag in the oven. My personal preference. Just weird. I would try the paper bag, though. Someone else just referenced that. I've seen uh, pies baked in paper bags, and that's always interesting to me. Great to hear from you, my friend. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Octopus, shouts are a bit less pungent if that's the issue. Yep. Substitute shit. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I said all those things. Okay. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Okay. Do you have a Tarong? I do not. Serge, I apologize. I think shallots will work in place of onions. Okay, Nancy, there's a huge, there's a huge recall. Oh, okay, 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 got it, got it, got it. Um, what kind of onions? Surely it can't be all onions. Is it just white? Is it just yellow? Is it just sweets? Find out which onions they are and where they are from. You can, because you need onions, like you can, I wouldn't necessarily say do it all the time, but you can replace some reds with whites. I mean, they're more pungent, but you can replace some reds with whites. You can replace replace some sweets with whites. Um, see if that's available. Mike, Billy, is it true if your turkey has a red pop-up and, and you brine your turkey that voids the pop-up? Never heard that. No. I had one a couple years ago that I brine and it still popped up. What's your favorite food item you like to make? Man, I... <laughs> I cook so much. I don't know that there's one thing that I have to favor. I really enjoy making breads. And I'm, now that I'm in this new studio, I'm going to start doing more of that next year. I enjoy, It's just something therapeutic about it. It's very comfortably, very comforting to do it. Um, I love searing steaks. I love smoking food. Now, as far as eating, pizza and cheeseburgers all day, all day long. Cynthia, how long do you cook an already seasoned turkey? It's this doesn't matter. It cooks the same amount of time as any other turkey, which would be 350 Degrees at 13 to 15 minutes per pound. Billy, how about shallots for a plate? Yeah, you can do that. Yep, octopus. Maybe sous vide the turkey in a bathtub. <laughs> Dude, uh, I have a, I've had a sous vide wand for like six years. I know I need to do a recipe for it. I never do it, but I don't know how many people actually have a sous vide wand. That's hilarious. In a, in a bathtub? That's a, great, I mean, it's a good idea. I recently started... Whoops. I recently... Uh, I recently uh, hey, D... Hey, it's D. I recently started using leeks for the first time, and I love them. Yeah, they're super good. And stuffing, fantastic in stuffing. Hope you and your family have an uh, awesome Thanksgiving. You too, Gigi. Thanks for coming through. Have you ever watched Chef Jean-Pierre? Jean -Pierre, please don't boot me. No. Uh, Jean-Pierre? I don't know who that is. I apologize. Please don't boot me. Why would I boot you? 
Diane Deacon, have you? I have no look. The thing you'll know about me, a couple things, Daily Watcher. Man, people like what they like, and I'm not here to try to change that at all. Um, if you, there's specific, sh I have no egos. I'm way too old for that kind of stuff. People like what they like. They like who they like. I got no problem with anybody. No joke. Diane, have you ever made Papusa? I haven't, but I've been asked to make that, and it is for sure on my list next year. What's up from Phoenix? I used to live out in Phoenix, North Phoenix, 7th and Thunderbird. Used to, that's where I went to culinary school. It was in Scottsdale Culinary Institute 21 years ago. I graduated. I'm so old. Fried polenta is super good. You're right. Yay for happy marriage, Gigi. Can I substitute beef stock for beef broth? Yeah. Better taste. Uh, AV, I hope I say your name right. And I apologize. Aviatrix. Stock has vegetables included with the meat, and the, the, the flavor is just so much more intense. Broth is good, but I'm always a stock guy. Okay. Okay. Can't go. It's okay to prep a dish with baking powder the day before. Or should you cook baking powder immediately? If you can bake something, like if you're obviously it sounds like you're using baking powder to bake something, bake the day before always. Just get it over with. How do I stop myself from eating too much stuffing before dinner? Good question, John. I have no idea. Um, but portion control and eat slower. Man, we all do it. I know if I ate slower, I'd be in way better health than I am, but I see something and it smells good and it tastes good and I can't stop. Zarina, is it okay to use soup base to make gravy? Soup base. What do you mean by soup base, Zarina? Katie, happy Thanksgiving, Precy family. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Thank you, Katie. Thank you for joining in. I appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Better activates with a chemical reaction. It should be cooked fairly. I don't know. Camp guy, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you pro stuffing in the turkey? My dad is cooking. I do not. Okay. Yep. I do not stuff my stuffing with, excuse me. <laughs> I've talked too much today. I do not stuff my turkeys with stuffing. I cook it separate. One, when you put it in there, it just takes longer to cook. And for some reason, when you pull it out, it just does not look attractive at all. You eat with your eyes, right? I do not cook stuffing in there. Personal preference, but you can absolutely do it. Park, what's up from South Korea? What's up, Park? Cynthia, thank you. Welcome. Cam, you can get in the tub the same. Okay, Maria, Maria Avalos, it's amazing what you have accomplished. Oh, you are, you are too sweet, Maria. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. You are too kind. I, I missed the 20-year reunion. It was such a, I felt like it was a last minute thing. And my, and this is really what happened. My daughter had been begging me to go camping and that is the weekend that I picked. And it's like, man, I can't go back on that. So that is the reason I missed my 20 year reunion. I wanted to take my daughter camping for the first time. Um, but I am coming back uh, December 16th through the 21st or 22nd in December to do, my sister still lives in Eureka. So doing an early Christmas there. He's a trip, Daily Watcher. I'll check him out, man. I will definitely check him out. Or woman. I'm sorry, Daily Watcher. I don't know what that is. Hope you all have a happy thing. Same to you, my friend. Sun City AZ. Whole city full of old folks. Yeah, my, my aunt and uncle live out there. My uncle passed away, but my aunt still lives out in Sun City. Like 80th Avenue Bell. Or 180th Avenue Bell, excuse me. You mentioned breads. I have a sourdough starter going, but have only used the discard so far for pancakes. Any plans for sourdough loaf series? I actually have... A sourdough video. Um, it's one of the most popular videos on my entire um, on my entire thing. I haven't taken sourdough past that. Next year, I want to do a sourdough pizza. Um, I don't know what else I would do um, as far as sourdough. To me, like sourdough is all about exploring, cutting it with different grains, um, adding seeds, nuts, herbs, all those things. So I don't know that I'll go too deep in there. Like my sourdough is good and it works. Um, so. Brandy, are you in Chicago? I am not in Chicago anymore, Brandy. I was there for 10, 12 years. I moved, we moved out last um, last fall. We live in a suburb of Chicago. It's actually in Indiana. It's called Crown Point, Indiana. I'm from a small town in Missouri, a smaller town, and I really wanted that small town feel again. Living in the city was fantastic. We loved the people, but it was a beast. Who would in a cookoff between who would win? I'm guessing like who is Laura Vitale? Who the heck is that? I'm gonna have to Google that. I'm I'm so not cool anymore. Like I don't even know Laura Vitale. Who's Laura Vitale? I don't even know who this is. Internet cooking. Man, 
I'll smoke her. <laughs> I don't know. Her stuff looks good though. I, that's always the joke that I say to people. I'm like, man, people should, they should have like a blogger cook off. So you know, who, whose blog and YouTube's to actually follow. Cause they're good. I don't know who Laura Vital is though. I apologize. I've never, I don't know. I've never heard of her before. I'm guessing she's on YouTube. Let's see. Let's see if I can contact her. She's not even on YouTube. She's on Facebook. Let's see. She's got a million followers. I mean, she's doing something right. Her food looks good. I, I don't know. It depends, right? Like, she she may not be one of those people who can be on the fly, like work in a restaurant. And if you get to a competition, those people freak out. All the people that were in my culinary school, we had a restaurant in there, okay? And some of the people who just wanted to learn to cook, which is crazy, they would spend that much money just to learn how to cook. When those tickets started printing up and we would do competitions because we had to do market baskets often, which is just a basket full of random food you had to make up, these people would literally cry in the corner. So it's that kind of competition. I'm glad I'm glad to do it. Mally makes Billy Boy. I'm from England. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but I bloody love you. Mally, thank you. You are too kind, too sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope you, I don't know if you have a day off, but you are way too dang kind. Thank you, Mally. I appreciate you. Okay. Camp guy. I don't know the difference between broth and stock. I just buy. Okay. Zarina, can I use chicken base to make gravy? I know. Zarina, clarify. What do you mean? Oh, chicken base. Okay. You're talking about like the, like the concentrate, like. Sorry, that's my like vent from my hood going nuts because it's windy outside. Um, you're talking about like the concentrated, like it's not gel, but I know you could. It might be salty, so just be careful, okay? In South Korea at the moment, we are making tons of kimchi. Kimchi is on my list to make next year. We'll do it. That's what my dad says too. Interesting. He says it can dry out too. Uh, maybe dry out. I don't know. Patrick, got, would using a convection oven make a difference at 350 degrees for 13? No. 350 is 350. Now, here's where convection gets different. If there's a recipe, okay, that says, because it's going to hold at 350. I always say, like, it it can add 25 degrees. So if you have a recipe, how do I put this? If you have a, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. 350 is 350. It just cooks 20, it can, like, it adds 25 degrees. So if you're at, 325 regular, like, and three, man, I don't know how to explain this. You're going to have to give me a minute. Let me come back to you. No, you'll be okay at 350, 3 to 50. You're just blowing around hot air. It's more for more even cooking, but there is a difference. But let me think about how to say that. I think we'll really make a great side dish for you guys. Thanksgiving is a Dutch specialty. You put a ball in. It's beef, ragu balls, and panko serving dish. It sounds like a tasty little appetizer, my friend. I'll check it out. Thank you. Jeanette from Canada just started watching. Thank you, Jeanette, for tuning in. I appreciate the support. I'm moving out of Chicago, too. I joke about the marriage. It warms my heart. Beautiful. No, you're cool. You're good. You have your problems. No worries. Uh, we lived on the northwest side. We were in Old Irving, Irving Portage Park area. That's where my studio was, too. It was actually Old Irving Park. It was on the corner of uh, uh, Pula yeah, Pulaski and Irving Park, 4042 North Pulaski. That was my address. Serena, anyone think Chef Billy should do collect? Dude, give me all a I love Babish. I love Babish. I think he's, I love his show. I think it's so entertaining. I love movies and TV. So I just, I think his concept is super cool. Hey, chef, love your process and, and style of cooking. Question Do you recommend low and slow turkey or high heat turkey? So I usually do high heat at the beginning if I'm doing it in the oven. I like to get that brown on there. We're talking like 400, 425 for like 40 minutes and then turn it low 350, 325, even 350 for 13 to 15 minutes per pound, 325, like. I don't know, 15 to 17 minutes per pound. Low, you're the best. Laker Mark. <laughs> hey, man. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. Diane, I wish you would do some cooking classes. I would come to Crown Point. I'm in Tinley Park. Yeah, it's just finding the time to do it in the setup. I'm so busy every day creating content. You know, I'm a one-man band. I don't know if you know that. I produce, shoot, edit all the videos. I run all the social media, do my website, write all the posts, schedule all the social. Like, it's intense. I need an assistant so bad. I'm trying to not lay an egg. Billy Boy said my name. <laughs> oh, you're too funny. Thank you. All right, I got like one more minute on here. Ray, what's your take on dry salt, Brian? Yeah, for sure. You can dry salt. Be sure to give it a rinse before. Also, how about a video on sourdough baguettes? Not bad. I would maybe do. I need to do a French baguette in general, which isn't sourdough. So I miss Chicago DePaul grad. Yeah, 
Hey, I'm 45 minutes away, so I'm not very far. I'm a partner, and I love your mushroom soup. I live in Manchester. Is there any British food that you actually enjoy? Um, I don't dislike any British food. You got any recipes you think I should check out that maybe aren't so mainstream? I'm happy to take a look. I live on Central and Belmont. I live on Central. That's not far. Yes, love Hagen's. Anna, love Hagen's. Love those guys. The fried shrimp is so bomb. Love that place. Brittany, I would love to visit you next time. All right. Let me know. Diane, I can probably help with assistance. We should chat offline. Okay, Diane, send me a direct message. Go to Facebook or Instagram. Catherine, greetings from North Texas. What's up, Catherine? Happy there. Thank you for recipes. You saved my rear and many times. God bless. God bless you too, my friend. Zarina, I have an electric oven. Should I cook my turkey at 300? No, I don't know. Electric's fine. Yeah, my, my oven's electric. Do 350. When is the next live? I usually try to do them a day before any crazy holiday. So the next one will be Christmas Eve. Or I'll do them more often. If y'all like them, I'm happy to do more of them. Thank you. Okay. Corn chow recipes with Patrick. Thank you. I hope that helps with all the potatoes. You guys, I do got to roll. I apologize. First off, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, thank you so much. You all are absolutely incredible, amazing. I appreciate you all. I, I wouldn't be here. My family wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your support. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have any recipe suggestions or recipe questions, billyparisi.com, all of my recipes are there. I appreciate you all. Natasha, thank you. I appreciate you. You guys... Go have an awesome rest of your week, a blessed rest of your week, weekend. If you're celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope it's filled with family, food, football, all those good things. You all take care. We'll talk to you soon.